name is Kat, and today I will be doing the top two books from Six Genres tag. This tag was created by Benjamin of Tomes, and he actually tagged me in the original, so I will link that in the description. And the idea of this tag is that I take these six genres, dystopian, romance, fantasy, sci-fi, paranormal, and historical, and I choose two books from each of those genres to recommend to you. Now I'm not actually going to be picking my ultimate top favorites of these genres because you guys don't need me to recommend The Hunger Games and Harry Potter and William Harrendale to you anymore. You know you should read those already. So really, I'm I'm just going to be recommending two books from each of these six genres that I really enjoyed and that I think more people should read. So we're starting with dystopian and my first pick from this genre is Legend by Marie Lu. I loved this book, the characters were awesome and the world was super cool and it's just a fast-paced, action-packed story. This is one of my favorite books that I've read so far this year and the sequel Prodigy is equally amazing and the third and final book Champion comes out this fall. So if you haven't read this already, you you need to get on it ASAP. Next in the dystopian category I have Reboot by Amy Tintera. This book shares a lot of qualities with legend that I just really love in dystopian novels like it's fast-paced and action-packed and super cool world. Reboot does have more of a paranormal aspect with the reboots coming back from the dead and the romance does play a larger part in this book than in legend but this was a great book, super entertaining. Next genre is romance and the first book I have for this category is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Stephanie Perkins just writes such amazing characters that feel so real you can't help but fall in love with them and then cheer them on as they fall in love with each other. If you enjoy contemporary teen romance and you have not yet read Stephanie Perkins books, you must get on that immediately. The second book in the romance genre I will be recommending to you is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. I was kind of iffy about this book at first but I picked it up because it was recommended by John Green and Stephanie Perkins and I trust their judgment which was a good move because it turns out they have excellent taste and this book was no exception to that. This book was just so sweet and romantic and touching and complex and I really ended up loving it much more than I thought I would. Next genre is fantasy and the first book I have in this category is The Near Witch by Victoria Schwab. This was Victoria Schwab's debut novel and it is a standalone fantasy with just gorgeous atmospheric writing and I loved the story. I haven't seen a lot of other people talking about this book and recommending it so here it is from me, recommended to you, you should read this. Book number two in the fantasy genre that I would like to recommend is Mistwood by Leah Saipes and this is another book that I feel like just not enough people have read but they should because I loved it. It is a standalone fantasy though it does have a companion novel and it's set in kind of a medieval fantasy kingdomy type world but I just remember being blown away by the story. It's such a cool premise and there are so many twists and turns that I never saw coming. This is a great book and you should read it. The next genre on my list is sci-fi and book one in this category I would like to recommend is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Many many people have just been buzzing and raving about this book and I completely agree with them. The world building of the story is amazing and the characters are so strong and well developed and the story, you guys, the story, it will keep you on edge because you don't know what to believe or who to trust pretty much the entire book. Yeah. Fantastic read. Let me add my recommendation to the giant tower of recommendations. The second book from the sci-fi genre that I want to recommend is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. This series is basically futuristic sci-fi retellings of fairy tales and not only do I love the take on the fairy tale retellings but I love the world. The sci-fi tech stuff is so cool. I mean our main character is a cyborg and the villain is from the moon and they're spaceships. 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 If you have not yet gotten into the series, you need to. The next genre is paranormal and my first pick for this category is Unearthly by Cynthia Hand. This is definitely the best angel book that I have read thus far. I love the world building and the characters and the romance. It just has everything. If you like paranormal, if you like angels, you need to read this book. My second choice in the paranormal genre is Pivot Point by Casey West. I freaking loved this book. Not not only is the paranormal aspect so cool and the execution done so well, but the characters are all really great and well developed. It's just, ooh, it's a great read. And finally 
finally, the last genre in this tag is historical, and the first book I have to recommend to you guys is A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. This is book one in a really great historical fantasy trilogy. The world building of the story is just so well done and so creative, and this is actually the book that made me stop and think, huh, maybe I don't hate historical novels after all. And finally, the last book of this last genre is The Monstrumologist by Rick Yancey. Mr. Yancey, you have two books on my list. You must be doing something right. This is book one in a historical fantasy series about a 12-year-old boy who serves as an apprentice to the Monstrumologist, a doctor who studies monsters. And this book, this series, is just young adult horror at its best. It's gory and graphic and super entertaining. All right, there you have it, my top-ish two books from these six genres, and that is everything I had for this video today. So thank you very much for watching it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great night, and I will have another video soon, so I will see you then. Goodbye!